we've had a lot of collaboration between ourselves, the contractor story, and the client, North Lanarkshire Council. The early stage in the project was uh, there was a lot of the design that had to be developed. We then started works on site and there was a lot of site clearance and creating a working platform to build the bridge. Over the last 10 months we've had a few key elements to get us to this stage. Um, we've created this massive works area. The main portal itself has three main elements. It's got the base, it's got the walls and it's got the deck. Um, to construct this bridge the size of this, it's, it takes over 2,500 cubic metres of concrete and over 960 tonnes of steel. So one of the biggest innovations in the delivery of this project is the use of the self-propelled mo modular transporters for transporting such a large structure. The structure weighs nearly 5,000 tonnes um, and there was real integration of temporary works and permanent works design to install using SPMTs. So over the last week, obviously, this has been a critical uh, period for installation of the new bridge. One of the, the biggest challenges has been associated with the earthworks around the bridge. We had to dig out the railway embankment. There was a bit of uncertainty around the ground conditions just because of the bulk excavation. We removed, removed 36,000 tonnes of material and we had to remove down to a level that was competent for the new bridge to sit on. So we will be working round the clock between now and reinstatement of the, the railway to traffic on Monday. We have a number of teams working to finish backfill operations reinstate the track, realign the overhead line, ready for passage of trains on Monday. We would like to thank the community for their patience while we've completed these important engineering works.